I think it's pretty safe to say that Kyle Busch is probably a favorite for the championship. Hello everyone, my name is Dylan and welcome back to a new episode of Running Flat Out. In today's episode, I'm going to go over everything that happened after this last Sunday's race at Dover and uh, a few new, uh, maybe new rules changes that happened this, this, this week, uh, even though today's Tuesday. So to start out with, Kyle Busch overall got the victory at Dover this past Sunday. Uh, he really just caught up to Chase Elliott on the last in the, in the last few laps there, and uh, he just he just overtook him. He yeah, so he 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 passed Chase Elliott and he took the win. I'll be talking more about Chase Elliott and how he felt about the race after uh, I get done with Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch, he got his fourth win of the season and overall putting him into the next round, even though the last week's win at New Hampshire put him into the round of 12. Wow, I am not prepared for this whatsoever. So going back to what Chase what happened with Chase Elliott, he was really, he showed he was really disappointed even in his interview when he was, he was talking to the to the reporter. Uh, and even when John, when he was talking to Jimmy Johnson, uh, Johnson said he, he let him get out a few cuss words and whatnot. And even in his post race uh, interview in the in the media center, he he you could you could tell he was up he was he was not happy with what happened. That's a little bit of a disappointment for Chase Elliott. I was pulling for him to get that win. A few notable mentions: Brad Keselowski won the first stage, and Kyle Larson he ended up winning the second stage. But something odd happened to him after the second stage. He was trying to refire and his engine, but it didn't fire back up which made him lose ground and when he went to get back up to the first position NASCAR said you can't do that and so they put him back where he fell back to which was sixth I believe um, and that ultimately ruined his day so the top five ended up being Kyle Busch, Chase Elliott, Jimmy Johnson, Martin Drush Jr. and Kyle Larson managed to make up one position to get him that extra point. Some penalties after this weekend. Eric Jones and Clint Boyer, they both had the same penalty. They were all, they, were, they both missed uh, a lug nut. I, I don't know how many, but it was a lug nut penalty. And I assume that they'll be losing some driver's points and probably losing the crew chief for the next week. I guess it's safe to move on to the chase grid or the playoff grid now. So after this week, the four drivers eliminated were Ryan Newman, Kurt Busch, Casey Kane, and Austin Dillon. Ryan Newman only needed to make up two points, but at the end of the race, he ended up getting passed by Kyle Busch. And I don't think he got passed. I don't think he got passed by Chase Elliott, but he did get a lap down. But I, I think it was safe to say that he probably would have made up those two points anyway. There's one more thing I wanted to talk about. So after the race, Gordon. I guess they've they've referred to him as Chase Elliott's number one fan, of course, because he's driving the 24 car, and he was of course going to get his win. And something I don't, I didn't watch the entire video because I, I think I was out making dinner. I didn't watch what was happening on the on the broadcast. I haven't watched the video yet. Um, but I believe Gordon and Newman had a little bit of an argument. Uh, I'm not too keen on what happened, but I am aware of that. That they had a little bit of an argument. I think Gordon said something like he got in Chase Elliott's way or something. I don't know. Something crazy happened. Later on, uh, Gordon met up with him in the garage area and put, basically put his arm over his shoulder and said he was sorry for the altercation. That's all from Dover. Anyways, moving on to some other news in this week. So NASCAR announced its new 2018 rules package. So. I'm not sure if they're adding or taking away a little bit of downforce, but the, the new downforce is going to be 1,650 pounds. Um, I'm not a mechanic. I don't know. What, I'm, I assume you guys know what that means. Uh, they're making the spoiler a little bit smaller. So if you haven't seen the picture or the video on their YouTube channel or on their website, it shows Clint Boyer's car. As, it, just, it, just was, it was just there. And it was... A, they showed a little bit of it about towards the, the left rear quarter panel. They took a little bit of the spoiler off, so it's not going to be from side to side. It's about to be side to the, the shark fin there. So that's the smaller spoiler. From this year, or from last year to this year, they changed the splitters a little bit. 
and they added like a little notch in the middle. It's it's, it's weird. You, you can tell just looking at a car on the track. Next year they're going to be changing that to the original common flat sp uh, splitter. There, uh, they're going to be changing that to a little bit of a bigger radiator, um, and then. I, th I found this a little bit interesting that they're going to add a high-speed in-car safety camera. So I don't know what they're going to use that for. I, I remember a few years ago they introduced the gyro camera, but they haven't really. I haven't seen a lot of that since 2013, 2014. So maybe that'll be a little bit interesting. So that's the news on the rules package. So yeah, I think that's about it for 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 uh, the 2018 rules. And um, onwards to something that I feel is a little not. Well, not personal, but something that might afford, affect the sport in a negative way. He makes the he helps makes the engines for uh, team for Roush Fenway Racing, and he used to own a team. It was called Robert Yates Racing, I believe. He had David Gill and uh, Elliot Sadler for a long time with the M&M's 38 car. He passed away, sadly. So um, that's that's a little bit upsetting. I'm a little sad to hear that. Um, and then. Not so much NASCAR news, another famous person died, if you can't guess already. Uh, Tom Petty, he passed away because of um, cardiac arrest. He, he was 66, and he's probably one of the most famous singers and songwriters between 1970 and 1990, so um, that's, that was unfortunate. This morning, my dad and I, we, we just played Tom on petty music all morning until my bus came and then I left for school and whatnot. I think that's about it for this second episode of Running Flat Out. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Running Flat Out. It's my second episode, like I just said. I'm still hoping to get a new logo. I need to find someone to help me out with that. Maybe on Instagram or Twitter or on Facebook or, or somewhere. But if you guys are willing to um, help me out with that, feel free to... Um, to, uh, to send me a logo on, on Twitter at Purple Cup. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, I always put my Facebook down there if you feel like running me on Facebook. And about the logo thing, if you want to help me out with a logo or send me a, a logo, um, just post it on, on Twitter. I can't remember the hashtag, but I will put the hashtag down below. Um, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys next Thursday. Well, let me get to the point. Let's roll another joint and turn the radio to laugh. I'm too long to be proud.